Hi guys. <clears throat> all right. So <laughs> I'm sure y'all were watching the whole divine, masculine, and feminine uh, discussion. So uh, let me in on let me let you guys in on a little secret. First, we're gonna back it up. As I was talking to you guys about understanding this is a game, this is all vibrations, everything has been done for a reason, nothing is wrong with anything, everything is working beautifully, and what we came for, star seeds, and what some humans are doing to leave this particular game, that there's no such thing as good and bad, that judgment must go away, and we're heading back to unity consciousness, all that stuff that I've talked to you for 300 videos. And I've told you, you've got to do it, you've got to do it, you've got to do it, you've got to get good at this. And then what happened is we had the Jeremy G-Man situation. Now, I watched that from, and kind of stayed out of it and watched how everybody would react. Because I am forever tweaking, and that means with you guys too, because I'm creating my universe, to see how I'm doing with calling in a collective consciousness to get to 5D. Now, I could see what everybody did. But that doesn't matter. From your perspective, you need to know how you reacted to the Jeremy G-Man situation. Did you immediately side with G-Man? Did you immediately side with Jeremy? Did you immediately feel even the slightest bit of resentment or resistance to the other side at all? Now, you have to be extremely honest with yourself in these matters. Nobody's going to ask you. You know, nobody's going to ask you. This is for your own well-being, okay? So you need to know which one did you do. If you sat back and watched it in interest as they went back and forth learning lessons from each other, which they did, and I believe that they would agree with me that after that incident, they are much closer than what they were before. That is the point. That is the point. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter what happens in the meantime. The end result was that Jeremy understood G-Man more. G-Man understood Jeremy more. That is how we get to oneness, guys. Okay? That's what the whole thing is. Now, I don't think of these things ahead of time, but when I get the, the situation, I will use the situation to test the waters and see how the group's doing, how the planet's doing, how the universe is doing, how I'm doing. And then I'll poke and prod a little bit to see even better, more clear. So when we were having that rap session and Divine Masculine came up, I chose in that moment to be rather firm in my vibrational output as far as really making a point of really hitting some energy into that situation. Okay? That would make people go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then I followed it up with rather firm but clear videos on the circumstance. And then I've sat back and watched everybody react. Now, ultimately, the point here is not, as usual, <laughs> judgment. So if you went into defensiveness and wanted to find out why Divine Masculine is the way it is, or why Divine Feminine is the way it is, you've lost the plot. You need to go back to the beginning of my videos, start over. At this point, you should be on that. You should be beyond that. The question is not whether or not you've been good or bad, whether or not the planet is good or bad. The point is this is where we are. How can we get better? The only way that you can do that is to assess where you are. And it must be absolutely 100% honest. If you watch those videos and you learn something and you went, wow, I have done this or I haven't done that. I've been around people that did this and not that and that's not what I want anymore. So I'm listening as to how I can stop that. Then you're dead on. If you got caught up in the momentum and the drama of it all, then you don't, you're not there yet. Again, go back to my videos. You've got to get back into non-judgment. No such thing as right or wrong. The process of getting us out of this. As I've told you before, the process of making an energy that is a God down into a total amnesiac human tiny mind and body 
is extensive. It is complex beyond words. So to get out of it in a single lifetime is very complex. And not only that, but we're trying to do it in a matter of a few years, not even a whole lifetime. Okay. So when I say you've got to figure this out moment to moment, I mean that. I mean that it has to be your number one goal of assessing, tweaking, assessing, tweaking. It is nonstop. Absolutely. And when I say that I don't think about other things that people think about, I just don't have time because that's what I do all day, every day. And I assume that I will be where I'm supposed to be and I will have what I need in the process. But the number one goal is getting out of this huge snarling mess. And the way I've got to do that, or the way everybody's got to do that, and it's nice and it's sweet that the New Agers say, well, just meditate and, and think nice thoughts and it'll all, be, it'll all be gone. But most people, most star seeds at this point, because of their jobs, are not able to do that. You're going to have to like wind your way through, tweaking moment to moment. You're going to fail over and over, but you're going to get better every time. And that's how you've got to look at it. You've got to look at it. So when, when I throw something out there like this and I really push it, it is to show myself and you where we are in the collective. Okay. We had some really awesome uh, guys step up and really own it and say, I've done this. Uh, Jeremy had to face some hard truths. That was very hard for him. Very, very brave of him, by the way extremely bright, but I knew he could handle it because, uh, I know his vibration. So that, but he was pretty darn quick to listen to what I had to say, to feel it out in his own life, to check out his whole past life and to be relieved at the possibility that now he can see where he can go to change. And that's how you guys need to look at it. It's not a matter of doing what society has always been doing because the way society your parents, the government has taught you to react is to lower your vibrations. In order to raise them, you must do exactly the opposite. Exactly the opposite. So every time you begin to think or do something, anything, you need to analyze it immediately. Am I doing this and am I going down or am I going up? If I'm going down, I need to switch this up big time, big time. This is not easy. It is not easy. What I have seen repeatedly from people that I've interacted with, from the starseed community especially, is this inability to do subtlety. G-Man can do subtlety like no other. So can my X number two. Only G-Man's more divine <laughs> than my X number two. I haven't got there yet. I haven't got that aspect yet. But it is what starseeds are not good at. We're not good at the little tiny steps. So we tend to jump. So in a lot of people that I've seen, your starseed self and your egoic physical self are very, very much apart. And there's a lot of jumping from extremes, living in this one, then living in that one. This is a part that you will have to merge these two parts, just like you'll have to merge. You'll have to create divine feminine or masculine, whichever you are, don't care what sex you are. Then you have to incorporate a divine version of the opposite and you have to merge those into a divine self. You also have to merge your starseed consciousness and your egoic human consciousness. Those must merge. Then that must merge with the divine masculine and feminine. Do you see what I'm getting here? See how complicated this is? And this is slight. This is very little. Okay. Very little. It's very, very complex to get this done. And all of this merging has to be done fairly quickly. Now, um, I think Tara's going to do some videos. I asked her to, she agreed, but I've been with her for two and a half weeks and pretty much it's been nonstop Naya boot camp. And I have not been easy on her because we have limited time. And when I'm with somebody moment to moment, I can watch what they're doing vibratorily. And I want you guys to know that in the videos from now on, listen, I have limited human speech to use with you guys. 
vibrations, there are infinite vibrations and they're constantly moving. So when I speak things, I am talking always from a vibratory standpoint. And those vibrations will be different and you will interpret them, your bodies, your entities that are in you will interpret them differently for the same word. I've gone over this before. I cannot say it enough. So feel what I'm really listen to what I'm saying from an objective standpoint. Don't get stuck on words or phrases. That is, will never get you to 5D. Okay. As long as we have to use words, you're going to have to use some instincts, some intuition, and some knowingness to get the job done. The more you go into knowingness, the less thinking you do, the faster you will move and the easier it will be. For every time you've got to think it out, figure it out, it will slow you down. Period. It's that simple. And you probably won't get it done in this lifetime. It just is too complicated now to do that. So I want you to, wanted to clarify that verbiage speech thing. Now I'm going to go back to um, Tara. 